the Wakefield Lit Fest that he's on at the moment. And this Sunday, as part of that, he can bob along to St Austin's Church in Wakefield for a day, I think, that is focused around mental health and well-being. They're calling the whole day Beautiful Minds. And there's all sorts going on on that day. Discussions, performances, poetry, a bit of cabaret, and something called Words for Wellbeing. So tell me all about that. I'm joined now by Sarah Cobham, who is from Dreamtime Creative. Hello, Sarah. Hello, Gail. How are you? Yes, I'm not too bad. It sounds like it sounds like you're very busy because there's an awful lot going on on that day on Sunday, isn't there? It's a huge day. It's a wonderful day that's opening up opportunities to talk about uh, mental health. Mm. Uh, it's a really good mental health friendly day. Good. And the Word for Wellbeing project that I'm doing is for a group of women that have come by the Well Women's Centre here in Wakefield. And Dreamtime Creative does quite a lot of freelance work for them and with them. But these women, 80% of them, can you believe this, have never written anything of, of creative stance before. Wow. What do you mean is like as adults or they just can't, they can't remember sort of ever, ever writing anything creative as a grown-up sort of thing? Well, I think, I mean, as adults. And yeah. certainly as a form of um, supporting yeah. mental well-being, writing creatively, either if that's through poetry or prose, is a wonderful way of, of giving voice to inner, inner sort of turmoil or inner experiences that otherwise are just get so tangled up. Yeah, so this is, um, I, I would say then, this is, this is a pretty brave thing for these ladies to be doing, isn't it? It's massive. It's massive. We've been working together for four and a half months, meeting every Friday, and we've had some incredible guest writers come on board. We've had Dina Edwards come up from London. We've had Genevieve Welsh. We've had Matt Abbott working with us as well. It's been really good. Um, but the women have had access to not just skills in mm. order to enable them to write about how they feel um, in a way that is more than diary writing, but in a way that moves towards a performance or a public speaking. Mm-hmm. And this, I mean, there's a, it's a massive leap from sort of right scribbling words down about how you feel mm. um, to crafting that into a form of uh, spoken word. It must be a huge thing to sort of pour your thoughts out onto a piece of paper anyway, you know, regardless of anything else, but then sort of be able to get up and, and perform it. Have they, have they had any sort of rehearsals? How's, how's that working? Yes, we've been working on the rehearsals for the last three Fridays, and this Friday, actually, so tomorrow morning, we're going into St. Austin's, which is the most supportive space. It's just beautiful. Mm. We're going to be rehearsing um, in the, to the celebration event, which is in one of the big rooms in the afternoon. That's at quarter past three. But then we are getting on stage, mm. and it's... It, it's so exciting that we've, we've blocked it all out. We've drawn a circle in chalk. You know, we're moving around and moving across the circle and coming to the front and speaking our poems. Some of the women have learned their poems off by heart. Oh, you know, that, that is so impressive to learn anything off by heart. Yeah. Yeah. A three or four minute poem, you totally own that. Mm. Um, and, you know, it takes an awful courage to make yourself that vulnerable in mm. front of any kind of audience. But this audience is, is going to be extremely impressed, but also really, really supportive. And privileged as well, I would think. Do you know uh, what I mean? Yes. What t- what time is, is this is this actual bit on during the day, then? So during the day, uh, it's at quarter past three till about quarter to four, again at St. Austin's Church. And then we are up first thing in the evening. So we're on at about, ooh, just gone half past seven. Ah, so um, this is part of the, so there's the Words for Wellbeing Cabaret featuring, I'm told, the music of uh, acclaimed uh, so lead guitarist of the Coral, Bill Ryder-Jones. Also, you've got comedy from Simon Munnery yeah. and um, just a couple of other other guests as well. So that's going to be that's going to be an, an evening that's going to be spectacular anyway. But are you kicking that evening off then? We are. We're oh. kicking that evening off. <laughs> yeah. Wow. So is this what you do? Is this what you do all the time then at Dreamtime Creative, Sarah? Yeah. yeah. Dreamtime Creative specialises in empowering the woman's voice through creativity. So whatever kind of creativity is needed, uh, whether it's drama or art or writing poetry or spoken word or meditation, whatever is needed, we have the skills. 
um, support women if they're ready to, to come up to go on that journey. It's funny, I was thinking the other day, you know, when Bean said, would, would Dreamtime Creative leave this? I said, oh, that would be amazing. I love that. But here we are at the end of the project, and I'm actually thinking, you know what, I, I feel like a participant. I just happen to have the best job in the world. Mm. Well, I hope that people will come along and see the fruits of your labour and just be very, very supportive, as I'm sure the audience will be. So just to remind, it's on. Um, it's, a, it's a full day of events, really, uh, at St Austin's Church in Wakefield. The whole day is called Beautiful Minds. Um, your particular part is called Words for Wellbeing. So we can go along and see that, but also then a little bit later on uh, in the evening is the Words for Wellbeing Cabaret, which you're also a part of. So it just sounds, it sounds like you're going to have a lovely, lovely day, Sarah. Yes, thank you. We are going to have a lovely day. <laughs> very empowering, very life-affirming. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for your time. Uh, this is Sarah Cobham from Dreamtime Creative. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you, Gail. West York.